Nvidia is the ruler of AI hardware. There is no doubt about that. Capitalizing on that, Nvidia is trying its best to also rule the software market around AI. Nvidia NIM, as you see on your screen, is one gigantic step in that direction. In simple words, what Nvidia NIM is that it allows you to use large language models easily and deployable to anywhere by using Nvidia's software on Nvidia's hardware. In fact, this NIM stands for Nvidia Inference Microservice. What they have done is they have taken the open source models. They have sort of customized these models to be running in a very efficient way through Docker layers or microservices architecture in either your own environment or in Nvidia's cloud. You can access them by simply using an API call by using Nvidia's own API key. In this video, I will be showing you how you can do that for free. So go to this website, which is nvidia.com slash AI, and I will drop the link in video description. Sign up with your email address. If you will use your personal email, you are going to get 1000 free credits for API calls. If you use your enterprise or company email, then you will be getting 5000 credits along with some other goodies. But I think for um, just playing around and for just using these models and trying them out, your personal email is more than enough. So sign up with your email account and then log in. You will be presented with this screen. If you look at it on the left hand side, we have a lot of categories of models. And on the right hand side, you can see a lot of familiar models which we have been covering on the channel. For example, we have this Llama 3, 70 billion. We have Phi 3, we have Pelygema, Granite, and then Arctic from Snowflake and then few variants of Llama 3 plus our celebrated Mixtrol and then the list goes on and on. If you want to see any model related to maybe speech, just click on the speech category on the left hand side and there is this Nvidia Zone Parakeet model. For visual design, which is primarily to edit the images and stuff, you can check out these models. For reasoning, which are primarily text-based models like Mistral and all those which we have used. There is also IBM's model, the Grey Knight one, and more uh, or less I have covered all of these models in detail on the channel if you are interested to learn more. Anyway, let's try out first our, maybe I will just go with the Mistral one. So let's go with Mistral Large. I'm just clicking on it to select it. And you see that we have this Mistral Large where it has given some of the synopsis of this model. Now you can simply use this model here on the left hand side by saying hi there how is it going and press enter and it is going to reply to you and then what we will be doing in this video we will be accessing this model through api call which you can see on the right hand side the good thing about it is that you don't have to worry about how to uh, check out the documentation but exactly is the syntax and stuff you just go to this website from here, if you, are, if you are a Python developer, which we will be using, you just copy paste that in your code editor or interpreter and then use it from there. This is for Node.js and this is for bash shell. You can simply do the curl command and use it from your REST API. So I'm just going to go with this Python one. So I already, so we will be copying this and then we will be running it from our local system. That. The only thing you would need for this is this get API key. So just click on here and you will get your API key and you can use it in your code. So I'm just going, I'm not because if I click here, it is going to show you the key. I'm not going to use the key here. I will be setting it in my environment variable and I will also show you shortly. So let's get that code and let me now take you to my local system. My local system is sponsored by Mast Compute plus they have also sponsored the GPU which I will be using. Now if you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices with low no lock-in contract then I would highly recommend Mast Compute. I will drop the link to their website in video's description plus I am also going to put a coupon code which if you use you'll be getting 50% of discount on an already discounted offer. 
so check them out and huge shout out to them for this generosity of giving us to use their vm and gpu let me show you that so this is the vm and this is the nvidia rtx a6000 card which i'm using which has 48 gb of vram and by the way for this uh, demo you don't need that much uh, vram because this is just an api based we are not downloading or installing model all we are doing it we are making an api call to nvidia's name by using this terminal so let me cl uh, clear the screen and then from here let me create a conda environment make sure that you have conda installed because i like to keep everything separate and simple so i already have conda 24.1.2 installed let's clear the screen and now let me create the conda environment i'm just going to call it nim and you see that it is so simple to create a conda environment with this create command just press y here and that should be done fairly quickly that is done let's activate name and you will see that it is present in parentheses let's clear the screen okay now the only thing we need to install here for this demo is our openai you won't be using openai's key but because names api is openai is compatible it uses the same format so that is why we need to install it that is done let's clear the screen and now let's uh, one more thing let's do this too let's also export our nvidia's api key so copy that key from there and then set it here or you can even set it within your python interpreter whatever you wish to do so let me set it here and then i will clear the screen i have set my key and cleared the screen let's launch the python interpreter and first up let's import the os library and then also grab the nvidia's api key and put it in our environment variable um, from into nim key variable let's also import the openai module from openai because that we will be using for compatibility and now let's get our uh, openai's compatible api call from the nim and now let's initialize the client so all i'm doing it i'm just passing it the base url and you see that instead of passing it the openai's endpoint we are passing it nvidia's endpoint with our api key so let's initialize it that's done and then we can simply call the completion api with our mistral's model so i'm just going to say here that this is a completion api model is mistral large message is this temp and temperature shows the randomness of the response by the model and top p shows the top uh, responses with the probability and then max tokens are 1024 and we are supporting that streaming too so let's press enter that is done and now in order to print the response let's type it this so i'm just looping through the response which is stored in this completion and there you go so it's the same response which we saw in the uh, console when we were running the model from an nvidia name so this is how easy it is to do the inference with nvidia name and this was just for the uh, text based models if you go back to their website you will see that they also have many vision uh, models vision means that you can just talk to your images and then go from there for example if i click on this 531 again same process you go down you see that you can try it out here like this is the example you can upload your own image and then these are some of the parameters which you can set you just click on clear here and then once you click in this box it is going to ask you your own image so let me upload one image here maybe i'll go with this one and then you can ask it uh, maybe describe this image and then click on run and then on the right hand side it is going to give you the output let's wait for it to come back should not take too long and you see that it has perfectly described our image as per the model now similarly if you want to access it through the api call in this left hand side click on python this is our python code in this one we are importing these libraries we are simply converting this image to base uh, 64 and then we are storing this image and then we are just converting that image to a smaller uh, resolution 
and then we are passing our api key and then we are returning the response this is how easy it is so let me put that in the code and also run it locally just to show you i have pasted the same code in this file and when i run it you see so it's the same inference which you can do from your local system by calling that api so all in all i believe this nvidia's nmi is real awesome and there are a lot of options here and whenever i visit it they i find more and more new models so they are rapidly growing also i will be soon doing another video on the speech one but well, this seems quite interesting and you can even use it through um, here with your own mic so it seems quite interesting i couldn't see any api calls for to be used in the code but i think soon it will be available one of the cool thing which i like about it is that they are soon soon going to offer us more and more languages but for say for for this i think this is just going with the english anyway that's it guys let me know what do you think i think it's always a good idea to have another option and nvidia is certainly another option i will drop the link to it in video description let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching